Are the lieutenants truly game-changing? Who is the strongest one? What are the top things you must know? Bring the action. Hi, generals! Today we're diving into the exciting world of the lieutenants and how they can level up your game. Before we start, don't forget to look for the hidden code that you can redeem for some sweet rewards via the link in the description. Let's get it started! The lieutenants bring a whole new level of strategy and power to your battles. Upgrade their rank, activate powerful skills and deploy them wisely to dominate the battlefield. The lieutenants are new invaluable characters that you can attach to your commander convoy improving the army bonuses and providing impactful special skills. And they're immortal. Really? Yes, I mean, they don't die in combat, so yes. All six lieutenants released in update 46 have a unit type specification. The type of each one is displayed under their portrait. They all have two game-changing special skills, adding an extra layer of diversity and customization options. This makes each lieutenant unique, allowing you to tailor your army composition and create dynamic strategic combinations. What helps with the tactical versatility further is the fact that you can deploy not one, but two lieutenants to the same attacking army, but they must be from different unit types. Just remember that the same lieutenant can join only one convoy at a time. You attach a lieutenant to an army via the dedicated button in the deployment menu. You can also add lieutenants to the army presets. You're able to put one lieutenant type per slot. Now, back to the special skills. The main one opens automatically when you unlock a new lieutenant. The second one is activated when you reach a certain lieutenant rank. On top of their special skills, every lieutenant has two sets of stats, baseline and specialization. Each lieutenant has two baseline stats, which are increased with every new level. The specialization bonuses are connected to a skill tree, which we will discuss a bit later in the video. Before we continue, let's pinpoint some of the important terms we mentioned. The rank of the lieutenants is represented by the background color, as it's shown here. An increase in rank unlocks a second skill and improves the bonuses from the specialization tree. There are three sub-ranks before every rank upgrade. You have to upgrade all three in order to rank up the lieutenant. Sub-ranks also provide points that can be spent to unlock specialization skills. The last term is the levels. It not only improves the baseline stats, but allows you to progress to the next rank. Give me an example of some of the lieutenant stats. We will look into every lieutenant in a bit, but first, let's see how you get your hands on these powerful heroes. You recruit and manage them through the new lieutenant's HQ. Your base needs to be level 22 to build it. Within the lieutenant HQ, you will find two sections, lieutenants and recruitment. The lieutenant section displays all available lieutenants, both locked and unlocked. Recruitment is where you can get what you need to unlock new lieutenants and upgrade the ones you already own. Speaking of, you obtain lieutenants by collecting their specific lieutenant card shards and rank up currency. When you have the required amount, the character unlocks automatically. The lieutenant cards are essential fragments different for every lieutenant. In combination with the rank up currency, they're used not only to unlock lieutenants but also to upgrade the rank and sub rank of the ones you already have. But to rank them up, you need to increase their level with XP vouchers. You can invest them directly through the lieutenant inner section using the slider to select multiple vouchers at once. You can get the mentioned cards, rank up currency, and vouchers by using the buttons in the recruit section of the lieutenant's HQ. To do that, you need Lieutenant Recruit Shards, which you can get from various channels. You will also have one free recruit action every 24 hours. This will give you an even better chance to get the Lieutenant Shards you need. But the recruit is not the only way to get Lieutenant Card Shards. We will launch Lieutenant-specific festive chain events, allowing you to win Shards for a particular Lieutenant every week. And there will also be events that award you for upgrading your new soldiers. How exciting! And I think it's time to review the special skills of the lieutenants we have. Before we start, keep in mind that you can see the actual stats of every skill on the screen. Let's kick things off with Wolfgang, the armor specialist who knows a thing or two about turning the tide of the battle. His first skill, Resolute Technique, is a defensive game changer with a chance to shield friendly units for a percentage of the damage dealt when the tanks are attacked. But that's not all, because Wolfgang's got another trick up his sleeve. 
Skill number two is called Malware Remover. It ignores a certain amount of debuffs coming towards shielded friendly units. Talk about a lifesaver on the battlefield. Wait, Bori, do you hear that? It sounds like the arrival of our next hero. That's right, Tony. Welcome Berserk Hulk, the Assault Specialist. His first skill, Kill to Heal, grants HP to his Assault units when they destroy a certain number of enemy units in a single hit. And if that's not impressive enough, the Eye for an Eye skill gives his Assault units additional damage when they take out enemy units with a single hit. Now, get ready to meet Lady Winter, the Ice Cold Aerial Avenger. Her first skill, Vengeful Birds, gives her aerial units a chance to counterattack when they're attacked. Lady Winter's second skill, Evasive Maneuver, grants the aerial units with a chance to dodge. Here comes Sweet Tanya, the Artillery Mastermind. Her skill Prepared Positions allows her artillery units to take reduced damage for a certain number of turns. Tanya's second skill, Armor Ingress, packs a punch. The first attack made by her artillery stack reduces the target's armor for a number of turns. Get ready for the Tainted Reaper, the assault assassin that strikes fear into the hearts of the enemies. The Infected Ground skill has a chance to apply a damage over time effect on the target with each auto attack. His second skill, Fear the Reaper, grants his auto attacks a chance to trigger a critical hit dealing devastating damage. You don't want to be on the receiving end of that. Indeed. As you don't want to feel the bite of the Ballistic Bulldog. The Power Bite skill of this artillery lieutenant gives a chance that his auto attacks will throw a power up, dealing massive percentage based or flat damage. His second skill, the Guard Dog, is all about protecting his team. When attacked, there is a chance that the Ballistic Bulldog will increase the health of his artillery units. All lieutenant special skills are so powerful, but let's see what the specialization passive bonuses bring. Sure, each lieutenant has a skill tree, similar to the offensive commanders. The tree has many powerful passive skills alongside its branches that improve the specific unit type of the particular lieutenants. To unlock them, you need skill points. You earn them by upgrading the lieutenant's subranks. You can activate one passive skill per point. The passive skills are interconnected and each one has its requirements. When you enter the Lieutenant Specialization section, you'll find a scrollable list of different specializations. The Specialization section allows you to invest spec points into different branches of skills. You can zoom in and out to explore the skills and freely move the focus point while zoomed in. Tapping on a skill brings up a window with information and requirements. If you meet them, you can activate the skill by investing spec points. Keep in mind that to unlock the next column of skills, you need to invest a point in the previous one. You also don't need to unlock all skills in a column, only the ones you prefer, like this example right here. Once activated, the skill bonus will automatically increase based on the lieutenant's rank. The specialization bonuses appear in the lieutenant's menu when a skill is activated, reflecting the current and next rank of the active skills. You'll see an indication of the current and next bonus amounts represented by the color of the rank. It's all cleared on the specialization side, but how do the lieutenants act in battle? So, when a lieutenant is a part of a battle, their respective units have an indication over them. Lieutenant skills will flash above the unit when it's activated, similar to buffs or debuffs. When reinforcing a battle, your lieutenants will be assigned to a unit stack with an absent lieutenant occupation. The special skills of the lieutenant will be shared with the other faction members' units from the affected type, while passive bonuses apply only to your personal units. During reinforcement, lieutenants are automatically assigned based on their rank and level. The lieutenant with the highest rank is preferred for a specific slot, with a tiebreakers based on the highest level and a first come, first serve rule. Remember, each lieutenant is unique, so experiment with different combinations and unleash their true potential. Thanks for joining us today, Generals. Catch you in the next video, WP Arm. All six lieutenants released in Update 46 have a... Unit type... <laughs> Get ready for the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bori. You hear that?
Du är min datt. 